what's gonna go out. So I'm sure you got somewhat of an idea by the title and thumbnail what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. But basically, when you talk about money, things get awkward because we're all curious about how much someone makes, how much they have saved, how much they spend, all of these things. It's just human nature at this point. So I'm gonna open up a little bit today and we're gonna talk about how much I spent on all of these trucks and hopefully also help y'all with, you know, getting an idea of what trucks are worth nowadays because what they were worth three, four, five years ago is not the same anymore. I've got some good deals behind me and some bad deals behind me. I'm gonna just be honest with y'all. So uh, I got them lined up from cheapest to most expensive, believe it or not. We're just gonna hop into it. So let's start over here with Lair Bear. We've had unrelenting wind every day for like the last month, so I'm sorry if y'all get wrecked in this video, but up first is Larry, my 1997 Ford F-150 Lariat. It is a 5.4 and it is two wheel drive. And this is the cheapest truck that I've bought that I own currently. I have bought cheaper, but this is the cheapest one. Yes, I paid less for Larry than that one. We'll get into that one in a minute, but um, this truck had 240,000 miles on it. I do believe when I got it, it's got right at 250 now. I haven't, I honestly don't drive it a ton. I just, I love this truck. It's been in my family forever. And I guess that's how I got the best deal on it. So essentially my sister got this as her very first truck. I guess we'll show in and talk. She got this as her very first truck and drove it throughout high school. And then when she went to college, my dad got it back and um he used it for work and all kind of things for a couple years and then it just sat not because it was tore up just because it wasn't being used and so i ended up hitting him with an offer of drum roll please one thousand dollars and he said nah i'll take two and i said well, i don't really need it so i'll still offer you one if you want to sell it great if you don't then you know i don't want to buy it and thankfully through my hard bargaining <laughs> He ended up coming back a couple days later and saying that he would sell it. And this has been a couple years. Uh, I can't remember exactly what year I bought Larry. I've had it for several, several years. Um, and I've just, I, it's, it's a huge part of like, I don't know, like I can remember being real little and my sister's driving me around in this thing. And I'll throw up a picture here. Larry has not always looked cool. And you might not think it looks cool now, but I absolutely love Larry. Plan to keep Larry forever. So yes, I did buy Larry a couple years before the skyrocket in the used truck market, but nowadays these things go for three to twelve thousand dollars. I've seen them even higher than that. Just astronomical, lower mile, four wheel drive, good condition, but people just way overpricing them. So even though it was a great deal five years ago when I bought this thing, it's a really great deal now, in my opinion. And that leads me to this, where I did not make a good purchase. So, if you are not familiar with the channel, I bought this truck knowing it had problems only to get the lift kit, which Larry does not really even have the full lift kit from it on there because this thing was in much worse condition than I thought. So, the two-wheel drive trucks, anything over six inch, there's only one lift kit for it. It's a Fabtech. They don't make them anymore, and you got to buy them used, so they're highly sought after. And this truck had it on it, and I was told that it had a blown head gasket, and I was going to buy it, fix the head gasket, take the lift off, daily it, drop it, do something with it. But then I get there, and uh, yeah, it's it's not, I don't know how good y'all can see. Frame's totally bent. I mean, just so clapped. The guy that had it second, I tried to buy it from the guy before him, and I asked if it had been in a wreck, and he just quit responding to me. Clearly, it had been. Uh, airbags are, you know, duct taped up. It's gutted. The guy that I bought it from had swapped his interior from this truck into his F-150, and he was going to take the lift off, but then I'm sure he saw all the issues, which ended up being the front spindle. The lift spindle was actually messed up and welded on, and it turned it in, it, it, it was a good adventure, okay? I enjoyed the adventure. We drove to Georgia in the Coyote, towed it back, and uh, it was fun, it was fun. The lift kits cost $1,500 when they were new, right? The lift kits, seven and a half inch Fabtech. I paid, drum roll please, $1,500 for this truck. Yes, I did, got wrecked on it. 1,500 bucks, obviously it's all good. We're you know making videos on it and stuff, so it's fine. Um, but I, I bought it. Now, originally the guy was asking $3,000, which I was, I brought with me. I was willing to buy because I was going to fix it up and, you know, use it or sell it. And I knew I could make my money back and have that lift kit finally for Larry that I searched for for two years. Well, that all went out the window. So spent $1,500 to get, you know, half of a Fabtech seven and a half inch lift quarter windows and then i am going to take the bumper off of it aside from that it really doesn't have anything to offer me and i lost the keys to it it's been sitting here for like two months so uh, i guess i'm gonna have to take the uh, drive shaft out and 
get it on a trailer and take it to the jump junkyard. That's my first, not great buy, but fun buy. It's fun. It's all good. YouTube has got it covered, no problem. So it was it was a good experience, and I've had a lot of fun filming the whole series between the two trucks. So bad buy, but a fun buy. So next up is Big Betty Lawrence 2012 Chevy Tahoe LT. It is two wheel drives, fully loaded, sunroof, DVD player. Leather seats, heated front and rear, third row. With that, we'll we'll check it out. It's got everything. It's freaking awesome. Now, uh, this is a good buy. This was one, thankfully, that I got a good buy on. Um, it does have two hundred and it had two hundred nineteen thousand miles on it when I bought it. I think, and I bought it at the very at December. I think it was December. So we've had it like two two three months now, and uh, it's been awesome. It's been really really great. But I didn't buy it perfect okay so it has a couple small things wrong with it like appearance wise and then when i bought it the transmission was actually slipping on it so this is a six-speed truck now i went and test drove it he was asking what was he asking for it was it 89 or was it 10 9 anyways uh, it was around the ten thousand dollar mark right which is a 2012 right fully loaded it's paint's not chipping off like it's I was stoked. Like I was willing to go buy this thing for that kind of money because I'd looked for so long and we were desperately needing Lauren's project truck. Fortunately, I did not pay anywhere near that. So when I got there, test drove it and the transmission was slipping immediately. Uh, pulled out of the parking lot and it just, it free revved, nothing. It did like three more times on the test drive. And he, he was like shocked. Basically hit him at like $4,000. I was like, dude, I'll give you four grand for it today. And, um, you don't have to worry about it because he was saying like it's never had the transmission slip ins never done that this that and the other which obviously he could have told the truth he could have been lying i'll never know um but i was not going to pay him anything because these transmissions are not super cheap but obviously having a youtube channel channel that is something that we would you know we could tackle and i'm sure in the future we're going to have to but turns out it was low on fluid so i gave him a couple days to think on things and then he ended up reaching back out to me because he'd been having the typical Facebook where people are saying, oh yeah, I'll come by it, and then they never show up. Yada, yada. You get tired of dealing with that crap. So I waited him out and he hit me back up. And fortunately, I came back and drove it. It was topped off with fluid and shifting smoothly. Here's one uh, interior issue, that old floppy handle, which you wouldn't believe it. These door panels are $500. You can buy them new. You can get them like three, 300 bucks on eBay. I'm trying to find a new arm. Uh, but aside from that, dude, I mean, super nice in here. Sunroof, DVD player, everything works. It's got navigation. Super nice. Like, awesome, awesome, awesome. I love this thing. Never been a huge SUV fan until Big Betty. But I freaking love it now. It is so sick. Power everything. I mean, it's just awesome. So, what did I pay for it? Well, <laughs> I paid five thousand dollars for this thing guys which i think is an unbelievable deal even with the possibility of having to throw a transmission in it even with it having 200 basically two hundred twenty thousand miles on it and this is a 5.3 which does have the cylinder deactivation and stuff you know what i said screw it we're gonna wing it and the transmission and the motor might fall out of it tomorrow but i think this was a phenomenal phenomenal buy five thousand dollars for something this nice dude i mean <laughs> sit next to chomper dude it don't even sound right because y'all ain't gonna believe what i paid for chomper i'm stoked like i am still tickled with this thing um we on the channel if you didn't see we did a new transmission filter all new fluids everything and she's been acting right and hopefully we get a lot of miles out of it but worst case scenario we'll have to throw another you know transmission in this thing which won't be cheap won't be easy but it's just you know it'll be another adventure for us on the channel so I have always been tickled with that, dude. Just for for what I was willing to pay for similar things, because these these have been fetching a lot of money lately. And like I said, we bought Big Betty in December of last year, so kind of similar prices now. They're starting to creep down. Was not peak crazy truck market where that is when I bought Tromper, which is very unfortunate because I definitely overpaid on this truck. Just being completely honest, I looked for a long time trying to find a Sierra or a Silverado this generation crew cab and when was it two year a year ago a year ago it, it, like two a year to two years ago was like peak crazy truck prices and I looked forever as soon as a crew cab of this gym would pop up they were immediately sold for whatever people were asking 
And so, yes, I did. I did 100% overpay on this truck, but let's just go over it real quick. So 2006 GMC Sierra SLT Z71 four wheel drive only had 150,000 miles on it when I got it, which was awesome. And I daily drove it for several, several months. It's come a long way since I bought it. I've had it right at a little over, I guess, a year and a half now. Um, so, yeah, and it's not flawless. It's got some issues, whatever the case, like exterior wise, like the biggest thing would be, uh, the guy said nothing about the clear coat and the roof being bad and it was raining that day. And then, you know, the next day when it's dry, after I bought it, I found out the clear coat's bad on the roof, whatever. It's very common on these trucks. And you might've seen the video where we kind of took care of it with, you know, polishing it and coating it and everything. Anyways, um, kind of got wrecked on that. But aside from that, the only other real issue was, um, it had a O2 sensor check engine light, which we replaced no problem. And then the rear windows didn't roll down. And you probably saw that video where uh, he had broom handles. What's going on with the camera? Broom handles holding the windows up. I, I don't I don't know what happened with that. It was some some serious, serious bull crap going on with that. But it, that made a viral video. So I guess I'm good with it. Content, right? That's the thing that I am blessed with. So let's check it out real quick. Oh, got my, got my lunch in here, little hunt brothers. Uh, it's awesome in here, dude. It is really awesome. Everything is original. Unfortunately, no sunroof. I wanted the sunroof so bad. That's why I ended up buying my 07 Sierra Clifford, the red one, and they ended up selling it. But I mean, everything really good condition. We've changed out obviously a lot of this stuff on the dash, but I mean, just beautiful, beautiful inside absolutely love it and then you know now y'all heard it we got it cammed full exhaust you know all that looking right looking mean so the big question and the question i get a lot because everybody wants to know what they should buy their crew cab of this generation for and now they're everywhere they're all over my facebook you could barely find them a year or two ago on marketplace they were just so rare and then now everyone their brother is selling them so they're all over facebook now anywhere from the seven to i don't know i mean i've seen a couple on there for like 18 grand which is just really really ridiculous not too far off from what i paid but um yeah so uh, it just hurts to say i paid drop a comment right now what did i pay for chomper i paid fourteen thousand dollars for this truck yes 14 jeez it hurts to say that because that's overpaying that's overpaying i know only 150,000 miles and i thought it was flawless when i bought it because of the whole you know it was raining everything looks perfect on black when it's raining yada 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 but still even if it was perfect that's overpaying that's just too much i do love it and i plan to keep it forever but yes i paid fourteen thousand dollars for this truck which is definitely a ton that's probably going to shock some of y'all because honestly I mean, if you think back at these a couple years ago, like four years ago, five years ago, they're not bringing anything like that. And uh, yeah, but it's one of those things. I needed a project. I wanted this specific body style for the next project build and I had to get it. And this one, I'm glad I did. I love Chomper, but I definitely overpaid. So <laughs> there it is. I paid $14,000 for Chomper. Exposed. Now, ah. Uh, Ford, the most expensive, obviously the newest. This is my 2021 Ford F-150 5.0. I don't know why I was stuttering there. Uh, it is a STX XL um, FX4 package. Um, so it's a lower end model, trim, whatever the case. Obviously we have changed a ton on it. Uh, I did buy it used. It had 19, 18,000 miles on it. I can't remember. I was going to buy the previous body style, but honestly, the previous body style was just as much or more than this one, which, what is happening? This thing is filthy. I should have cleaned it out somewhat. I mean, it is, you know, cloth seats, yada, 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 but I mean, it's plenty nice for me. And this is obviously my daily. Knox loves it. Says it sounds like a dragon, which is hilarious and pretty accurate, honestly. Um, but yeah, pretty basic in here. I mean, you got wireless Apple CarPlay. You got all the essentials, right? All the essentials. And you got the five liter goodness with the 10 speed. We're at almost 30,000 miles on this thing. I've been driving the crap out of it. But uh, yeah, what do we think? What do we think? What do y'all think? 2021, I bought this last year. How long has it been? Five? I, I don't even remember. I'll throw the date up when I bought it, but it hasn't been too long. 
it hurts because I paid more for this, a good bit more for this than I did Baby Squat, my 2018 Silverado All-Star Z71 5.3 that I bought brand new in 2018, but that was before crazy prices and there was huge incentives on buying things uh, new. So what do you think? What do you think? All right, here we go. $43,000, $43,000. And before you freak out, oh, you've already freaked out over Chomper probably. Uh, MSRP on this, I think was, it was right at 50, 49 and some change. So yes, uh, that is super expensive, 43 grand for this truck. I mean, like I said, in 2018 or something when I bought my truck, this similar thing would definitely be a 30 something thousand dollar truck, brand new. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a little brutal. It's, I obviously didn't want to pay that much, but like I said, the 18 to 20 models were bringing that much for more miles. And when this one popped up in Georgia, I buy everything from Georgia, it seems like. Um, I just need to move there, move to Georgia, and then I gotta drive all over the place. I just go snatch it up real quick. Um, when this popped up and I'd been looking, I was ready to get rid of my 22 Sierra because I just, I wasn't feeling it. I'll be honest, I wasn't feeling it. And that truck was much more expensive. Let me think, I'll just spill the tea on that. Um, that truck, I ordered it from the factory during like peak prices when dealers were marking them up and stuff. So I actually paid MSRP for it, which, what was it? 58? I think for the 22 Sierra, is that right? 58? It was more than my Trail Boss, which had a 6.2 and was, oh, same fully loaded, but didn't have the newer interior. Um, what did I pay for the Trail Boss? I don't know, I got like six, $7,000 off MSRP on the Trail Boss when I bought it new. Ah, uh, man. Yeah, it hurt to pay that much for this truck, I ain't gonna lie, but I was ready to get rid of the Sierra. This one popped up. I always wanted Velocity Blue. And it was the new body style and I wanted to try it out. So there it is. 43, 14, 5, 15, 100, and 1,000. You boys out here on a 12 foot ladder trying to get a good thumbnail picture. I got a buzzard, which at 12 foot higher than the ground, they look a lot larger. He better come over here and knock me off this mug, watch. Like he looks huge. I know he doesn't on camera, but also I figured I'd mention it because I forgot to, and I know someone's gonna leave a comment, but paid cash for Larry, the red truck, the Tahoe, and Chomper, but financed the crap out of the blue truck. The good Lord has definitely blessed me to be in the position that I am, but we ain't got 43K just to drop to buy a truck that we ain't gonna keep forever. So uh, yeah, finance the crap out of that. And there you go, that's the video.